So in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve two systems of equations. In my first example, I'm going to show you how to solve a system of equations when you're given two formulas. And in my second example, I will show you how to solve it from a word problem. So here we can see that y is equal to minus 2x plus 91 over 15, and y is equal to 10x plus 1. And the trick is to take these two parts and make them equal to each other. After this, we see that this is just a basic algebra uh, problem, and we can work backwards using the rules of algebra to solve for x. So the first thing I want to do is get rid of my fractions, and so to do that, I'm going to get a common denominator of 15 everywhere so that I can cancel out the denominator. I multiply the top and the bottom uh, by 15 on the right-hand side to get 15 where I put the red ones. This gives me minus 2x over 91, uh, minus 2x plus 91 over 15 equals 150x over 15 plus 15 over 15. I now cancel out the 15s. This leaves me with minus 2x plus 91 equals 150x plus 15. I bring the minus 2x to the other side and I bring the positive 15 to the left hand side. I make sure to change the sign if it moves over the equal sign. So this gives me 91 take away 15 equals 150x plus 2x. That's 152x, and I divide both sides by 152. 76 divided by 152 is 0 0.5. To find the value of y, what I do is I take 0 0.5, and I plug it into one of the two equations above. Both equations will give me the same value for y when x is 0 0.5, so it doesn't matter which one you choose. I'm going to choose the bottom one. Therefore, y equals 10x plus 1, but x is actually 0.5, so I have 10 times 0.5 plus 1. 10 times 0.5 is 5, plus 1 is 6, so y is 6. The answer is x equals 0 0.5 and y equals 6. In this second example, we have the question, a factory has two large reservoirs or containers. Reservoir A contains 8,209 liters of chemicals, and it empties into reservoir B at the rate of 84 liters per hour. Given that the reservoir B started with 145 liters of chemicals, at what moment will both reservoirs contain the same quantity of liquid, and what will this quantity of liquid be? So we want to find at what time are they equal, and how much is in both when they're equal. To do this, we need to create two rules. The rule that explains what's happening for container A and the rule that explains what's happening for container B. So I write, for container A, the number of liters equals, well, I start off with 8209, but I lose 84 liters every hour, so minus 84 times the number of hours. For container B, it's similar. Liters equals, I start with 145, this time I'm gaining 84 per hour, so I do plus 84 times the number of hours. I make these two sides equal to each other, and so 8209 minus 84h equals 45 plus 84h. Using algebra, I move things around to solve for h, and so I get 8209 minus 45 equals 84h plus 84h. I made sure that the signs changed when I brought things over. This leaves me with 8064 equals 168 times h. To get h all by itself, I divide both sides by 168. This gives me that h is 48. h represents the number of hours. This means that after 48 hours, there's the same amount of liquid in both containers. To find out the exact amount of liquid in both containers, I take these this number, 48, and I plug it back into one of the two equations above. I'm going to choose the bottom equation. That means the number of liters is equal to 145 plus 84 times 48 hours. 145 plus 4032 equals 4177 liters.